Okay. Of course, he's playing the. Uh... This pit is so weird. Like that blonde hair looks like so fake to me. For Little boy blonde. Like... Little boy blonde. Three, two, one, what is go! that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like what? All right. So I actually go. I'm in a PS2. I actually don't like that. So okay. I I I don't know. Like, do you want a lot of space versus Richter, or I feel like having space for him to just like get his setup because he wants to. He'll be like, Ah, I see that you're a little bit uncomfortably close to me. Let me uh, scoot, scoot, scoot. Be over here. Take this. You know, and like already, like he's only taken six damage. Z mine is already in triple digits. And he's and dead. Already dead. He's dead. I. Rest in peace, uh, Z minus, and I've got to play that at a catch up game. That's not a such pleasant experience. It's such an annoying position to be in, too. I mean, the one good thing about this character is that it is allowed to kind of swing twenty times off the stage, and uh, if he's able to get at least like one hit out of the twenty times he swings, he does get a kill. Like, pretty well. I, I mean, but sure, but it's also kind of hard. It's hard to like. You gotta get him off stage first. It's hard to get him off stage, exactly. But it's also sometimes can be hard to even like properly punish him when he's kind of recovering because he has a tether and like it's not exactly super short, and it's also really fast. So like you need to like kind of get the read on where he's going too. Oh my god, he ended up training with the Nair, and even though he didn't Ooh. die to that, uh, he over buffered that up B, which then put him in special flaw and was able to eat the forward smash. So Z minus evening up the stocks, but still we have. White percent to very red percent. <laughs> so I haven't seen any reflections of the uh, accident yet, which isn't like necessarily like a super high priority, but it is something that like makes Richter not uh, speak of the devil. He went for it like at the exact second I said that, huh? Uh, it is something that kind of forces Richter to manage space a little bit better. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah man, that tipper. That tipper uh that tipper whip hurts a lot when it smacks you in the butt. It must be I imagine it must be pretty difficult to land the tipper on, on the whip because it's so far. Oh hell yeah. I really, really surprised that uh that Slink made that back. Actually. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, z is beginning to pull a little bit of damage in, but he's got so much, like, ground to make up. Honestly, actually, now Slink, you know, at a pretty high... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's over! He's dead! He got hit in the face! Oi. I, I think he actually died because of, um... Because of Pitt's like crumple animation when he's getting hit by the fire, he actually got hit specifically in the face. Can we please see that in slow motion? Boom. Oh my. Bro. Yeah, you got him bro. In the face, can we, bro. Can, can we talk about how he's like not even close to the, the thing? Can we talk about yeah, that? No. Yeah. Because he was crumpled up and then he just like leaned back because he got smacked in the face by a tiny metal ball. Like, Holy crap. Not right there. Yeah, he just got smacked in the face. Holy crap, man. God damn it. <laughs> oh, this is a two stock. <laughs> uh. Oh, and now Z minus is going Falco. Yeah, it's actually an okay pick. Um, not necessarily on Wi Fi, though. I know Z minus is practicing Falco. Um, during Fight Club. Also, hey, Projo, how's it going? Also, hello, Elite Still 232. Thank you for following. I know he picked up Falco, but I can't speak to his skill with Falco. I, I honestly, I don't know, man. We went for the frame on Reflect. I can't agree with that decision. Oh! All right, so how do you feel about, is this, yeah, how do you feel about uh, the Falco pick in this matchup and on Battlefield, I guess? Battlefield's oh. good. Uh, this matchup, wow. 
Yeah, no, that's something that uh, that Falco's allowed to do. In this, in this yeah, uh, that's actually yeah, really good use of the fact that like Falco's forward air is like it's just it's just a constant hit because it's a multi-hit, so it's just always out, and it, that definitely it's moves like that is that gives Tethers trouble. Mm -hmm. A huge multi-hit with like a lot of range. You know, nice charge on the F smash. You need to be a little bit further back for that to get the, the kill that he wanted. But right now, this is not a good spot for Slay. Um, being a full stock behind against Falco of all characters is really tough. Because Falco has like his own really good projectile and he's uh, being played effectively. Uh, uh -oh. uh, dude, that 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 holy water catch has so many options off the ledge. It's all kind right. of absurd. Z uh in not the worst position percent wise, but definitely was in some pretty scary situations off stage there for a moment. But finally returning back to neutral. Slink closing the gap, hasn't really taken a hit. And now, once again, we've got an edge guard situation. Does the Phantasm into the axe? Wow, the wind of the forward smash. I know it's not actually wind, but it's like past the animation. It's so weird looking. You got hit with the little feather tips. And now, it, wow, dead even percentages here. Oh, that's a really good there position. There we oh. go. Almost able to get the kill up. out of it, but maybe that kind of, like you said, just you know, wakes up something in him being like, oh, yeah, I should use Reflector a little bit more often in this situation. C a question, can he reflect the fire after it's uh, started? Yeah, he can. So, okay, so after it's exploded into its flame, you can make it your flames. You know, the, the one like thing that's bad about that is that it's very unlikely that we're going to just be inside the fire. I, yeah, but I mean, so, you're at least removing the obstacle from yourself. Like, if it's on the le yeah, I see, I see, yeah. Because if you're removing it from yourself, you can now pass through it, and you don't have to worry too much about it. It's not so much a punish, but more of like more of a safety precaution. Either way, no, I understand that. Slink. I understand that point, but just remember, like, it is a commitment, and Richter has a huge F smash that he can throw into the fire. Yeah. And it, he's probably readying that, so it's kind of dangerous. Okay, that's fair. If he's, like, sticking to the flow chart, then, like, you need to make sure that he's not going for something like that if you're going to go reflect it. That's uh, definitely... Oh, man. What was looking pretty competitive earlier uh, is now really beginning to fall into Slink's favor. If z can yep. take the stock, he might... Oh, this time Slink waited extra long. Okay. Z minus not. Oh, <sighs> held there. too long. Waited too long. You no, know, in uh, in baseball that would be called uh, striking out while looking. <laughs> it would and be just, what? Like it just <laughs> striking out while looking. Basically, what it means is that you just like oh. you don't swing at any of the balls. Just you just stand like get there. in. The, you just stand there. <laughs> uh, well. Uh, Slink going to be moving on 2-0 with a double two stock. Uh, I believe he's going to be fighting Tilde next. Yeah, he is. Another Falco. And is... uh, um, we actually have that queued for stream, so I'm just going to tell Slink go ahead and stay in the room. Oh, okay. We're going to get a double Slink, and it's going to be, yeah, uh, we can kind of watch the difference between the, the Falcos. Where we have the Falco specialist, Tilde. Uh, Z minus Falco's not that bad at killing. It's just that you weren't 